Om Shanti, today is the 117th day of our meditative blessing and in today's blessing God tries to remind us of a complete form that means when he had sent us down on earth we were in heaven or the so-called Garden of Eden on earth itself a couple of thousands of years back and God tries to remind us that you have become totally impure from that purity you have imbibed in you all the different negativities and you are in a worryful state you are in a sad state sometimes you might be happy because of having the finances the money and all the comforts but suddenly when they are taken off from you you become totally weary so God says that should not happen because you are a soul God is never weary because he doesn't have a physical body he wants us also to be in a state where we are completely unaffected by all those conditions around us anything in the physical world doesn't affect the soul because the soul doesn't belong to this physical world it has come from somewhere else just to act on this physical plane so let's understand what does God want us to do and how he wants us to think and what he wants us to think on a continuous basis on a single day every single day so let's see what Baba has to say Baba says may you be a lucky star may you be a lucky star by invoking your perfect form and become free from the cycle of coming and going you must have seen that a star is being shown on a Christmas tree you will see a star being shown on the flag of the Muslim religion you have seen a star or a point being shown above the Om right and we depict that star is the shape of the soul so we say that the star is a form of the highest being or the God the Father. So we also think, we also believe that God the Father is, is a point of light, a divine being. So he says that may you become a lucky star, a complete star who is shining bright. And Baba wants us to become that by doing what? By invoking your perfect form and becoming free from the cycle of coming and going. Coming and going means what? Going into moksha. Or is it Mukti? Let's find out. Let's explore that. So Baba says, now invoke your perfect stage. What is a perfect stage? God says that I sent you down as deities, as divine beings on earth. There were 33 crore divine souls on earth and they used to live in heaven on earth. Thousands of years back. A couple of thousands of years back. And then those divine beings, the deities, started sinning and they became impure. And they couldn't go back into complete liberation in life because they got stuck with the five elemental world. So now they are the ones who are looking for God, searching for God. And once they find God, God reminds them that you are pure, you were divine with divine qualities which I had given you as a soul. Now remember that time, remember your previous births which I have explained to you through the medium of Brahma in Brahma Kumaris. So God says, I am creating you again in the eyes of my outlook of you as you were and as you have to become now in the future so God reminds us that you were completely viceless we were complete of all qualities we were completely non-violent when he had sent us on earth and now what has happened we have completely become opposite of all these qualities God says now remember and invoke your that stage that perfect stage and your perfect form and that form will constantly be in your awareness you will then become free from the cycle of sometimes having a high stage which means sometimes we are very happy <clears throat> when we are in soul conscious stage and sometimes we become very sad when we are thinking of bodily things, bodily issues or worldly problems and worldly issues so God says rise above them by becoming soul conscious don't look for answers in the elements, look for answers within so God says you will then become free from the cycle of sometimes having a high stage that means being happy and cheerful and sometimes a low stage so in bracket God says the cycle of coming and going now we also believe that when we come down on earth we are coming down in our qualities and once we go back to supreme abode or godfather's abode we become pure and go to his home so that is going stage so now we have to go back to the supreme abode by becoming purer and then God says which spins when you repeatedly come into the cycle of sometimes remembering and sometimes forgetting so when we forget whose child we are we become impure we start doing sins 
when we remember that who we were in a past verse that we were divine beings and we are child of the supreme godfather that's the time our karmas become purer think about it so now baba says people want to become free from the cycle of birth and death that means they want to go into moksha whereas you become free from the wasteful matters and become a sparkling lucky star so which is more important right now being free from all those problems in our mind the depression the sadness the questions and the answers which you are seeking the doubts about the future we want the answer for that or we want to go into moksha because moksha is something which god says i cannot promise you because you are a soul you have to come back into the cycle so nobody can attain that think about it but we can be free from those worries and sadness once we remember who we were in a previous birth how we were divine beings and what has happened to us and how do we become that again so god leaves us with this divine message and i leave you to with this divine message have a blessed day stay blessed om shanti Thank you.